Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another full stack loan application. And after completing uh, other full stack loan application, I will be totally working on the Udemy clone application. I will be baselining the code because I started, I did the introduction video and then I didn't post any video on the Udemy clone. But now I will be resuming this Udemy clone and it's going to be big, massive, you can say, because Udemy business is not simple, right? It's not just you can just build an application just over the night using Next.js, Next.auth and all. Yes, we are going to use a Node.js microservices, some Express, some Next.js microservices. And it's going to have a different console, the user console, which is going to just do the login and trying to access the courses. And another console is like you are a trainer, right? You are just teaching on the Udemy, you are uploading your courses. So we need to manage that content which you are uploading the, the course content and there may be a pricing a tag you are attaching to the courses and some courses are free. So it's going to be a different use cases and totally different database design. We are going to use, I can reuse some of the, the pieces which I built for Uber Eats clone but here it's going to be massive and what we are going to do, we are going to have a lots of services. I will be posting another video for the baseline and then architecture discussion where we are going to design okay how we are going to build it because what I thought of thought thought is I'm going to use auth0 for the authentication and then uh, once you are authenticated you can access all the APIs which we have the, the uh, user 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 management APIs the courses APIs the payment APIs and the order APIs notification apis file upload apis because it's the udemy business is massive you are uploading your courses you are getting all the different notifications uh, you are buying courses so it's all about ordering and payment processing all these things are involved and you should be able to see only those courses which you have bought which you have purchased online okay so it's going to be really nice that we are going to work on nest.js and on the front end side some pieces I will build in the Next.js and some pieces I will build in the React. Next.js is like a, a admin console for me when I where I am going to upload my content. So it's like okay, I want to publish a course. I can give a nice and clean console where you can initialize your course and you can just design. Okay, these are the course modules, each and every uh, every course title and the content. So it's going to be a massive upload service running in background of uh, the next years with the next year services so it's going to be another uh, nice and clean architecture we are going to use which you can deploy to any cloud platform also because whatever i did uh, i'm using is i'm using monorepo with nx and pnpm workspace and building these next years microservices in the isolation so if you want to independently deploy all these services you can just independently deploy and can use them okay so there are there is a there is going to be architecture discussion after we just thought about the entities use cases and what we are going to cover because it's massive so it's not like we are going to cover each and everything we are going to build we are not going to build the exact replica and exact clone and production ready this is all about teaching you how to build a SaaS product with all the tools and technology involved and how to combine all these tools and technologies to build any SaaS product. So let's say tomorrow you want to build a booking.com empire. So you will know how to which tools to use, how to deploy things, how to build the services, how to baseline the services, what all technologies and tools to use to accomplish all those things end to end. Okay, so stay tuned. Now next video I will be publishing which is going to be little lengthy which talks about all the use cases 